eat. Oh. Good morning, East Rondekoy Middle School. Today is Wednesday, September 4th. It is the first day of school. It is an A day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're taking a wild guess today because we do not have the menu right now, but today's lunch we believe is going to be chicken tenders. If you are new to middle school, you will also know that we have pizza, salad, yogurt, peanut butter and jelly, some sort of wrap, deli meat, and all those other things have something that you can put on the side. So make sure if you are getting a lunch today, you know in your head what your code is, which is your ID number, which is the same number you have used every single time you've gotten a lunch. And again, if you're new to this school, it's on your schedule. So use that because that'll make the line go by very smoothly. Girls Modify Tennis is looking for more tennis players. Come on, girls. If you are interested, it is not too late to sign up and no equipment or experience is needed. Come out and give it a try. All right, this might sound crazy. You are a new sixth grader or a new seventh grader or new eighth grader, no matter what, you are new at this grade level this year. But sadly enough, this is my sixth year as an administrator here at East Rondequoit Middle School. And sadly, I've got the same notes that I have from six years ago about what we talk about with expectations. The first one might feel new, but you all know. Cell phones, not a thing when the bell has rung, period. We are not dealing with them. They are not out. Put them away during class, which also includes when you might go to the bathroom. No, no cell phone. You are not allowed to have it. Some teachers are gonna have little caddies that you're just gonna put your cell phone in. If a teacher sees a cell phone while the period happens, they are going to put it on their desk. If it continues to happen, you are going to leave it with the main office for a long period of time. We are not debating cell phones. The only time we should see your cell phone out is during legitimate passing time, the four minutes you get from going from class to class and during the cafeteria. That is the time for you to check your cell phone and move on with your day. You are here to learn and crazily enough, you're here to socialize, which actually means like looking at someone with eye contact and talking to them. So socialize, be a kid and enjoy that. Off the phone, no questions. Next, hallways. I talk about it every single time. Again, if you're new sixth graders, you might not know about the hallways. It is not a jungle gym. This is not recess. You walk from one class to the next. Also, you don't just stand there and group up and then clog the entire hallway so no one can walk by walk to your class. Just go. Just walk to your classes. That's all we need you to do. You got four minutes. Plenty of time to get there. Also, no hoods. You can wear a hat. You can wear a beanie. You can wear a do-rag. But no hoods should be worn at any time in school. Rule, we will tell you all the time to take them down. If it becomes a constant problem, we'll call home and we'll suggest that maybe you won't wear a hoodie anymore because you can't keep that hood off. If you need a hat, if you need a beanie, if you need a do-rag, we have those for you. You can come grab one. We'll get you one, whatever you need. We've got your back, okay? But no hoods, very simple. Lunches. You're gonna find out that lunch tables are new. You cannot move a seat anymore, crazy. There are only 12 people that can sit at a table because the seats are attached to the table. Done. No more moving seats. And then we're also adding a little layer to this. We have one table that is going to be empty. 
it is going to have the word reserved next to it. And if you are not doing what you are supposed to in lunch, you are going to go sit in an assigned seat at the reserved table right next to security. Then if you can't follow those rules, you will have lunch outside of the lunchroom. Also with lunches, you A, shouldn't be on your phone so it shouldn't matter and B, shouldn't get food ordered. If you order food, you will not get it that day. You'll get it at the end of the day. If for some reason your parents have ordered your food or someone from home has ordered you food, it needs to be during the lunch time that is permitted. If it gets delivered and it is after the lunch time, we are going to hold on to it because now it is time for class and every lunch is free. So you have a meal if you need it. If you have Chipotle ordered for you and it comes at 1230 and your lunch was at 1030, we're not calling you down to get your Chipotle. We are not a restaurant, we are a school. You will have that food after school and it will be delicious. So don't worry. But that is the rule. And I'm going to say these rules every single day for probably two weeks. So it is just in your brain and you know it. So when we talk about it and we remind you of these rules, you'll be like, oh yeah, Mr. Zeller said that. Okay? Those are it. That's what we have for today. Tomorrow, we might talk about ePass, which is our new pass system. Or we'll talk about cell phones again. Or maybe we'll see how lunch went today and we'll talk about that. But no matter what, we are going to follow our expectations. All of your teachers today are going to talk about their expectations. But they're also going to build relationships and build trust and want you to feel that sense of belonging. Because you do belong here, students. We are so excited to start this school year. It's going to be an amazing one. Enjoy your first day of school. Do the best that you can do, and we'll see you out in the halls. Have a good day.